We're recording. Hi Canada. It's time for us to start fighting above our weight class. I'm here in Waterloo, Ontario, a great city about an hour west of Toronto, and I want to tell you something exciting that's going on here. In 2007, Waterloo was named the most intelligent city in the world. So why is what's happening here in Waterloo important to Canada? Well, Waterloo has become a bastion of intellectual thought, great ideas, and great innovation. We need to take what's going on here across the country. My name is Kevin Royal, and my idea, if I were next great prime minister, is to take what's happening here in Waterloo across Canada and turn us into a research and technology hub of the world. That's the possibility, so how do we implement that? Well, firstly, we make big time investments in post-secondary education, especially in areas like engineering, math, the sciences, and transformational leadership so that we have the leaders of tomorrow. The second thing we do is we give money for public-private partnerships, so we seek out business leaders who will match funding from the federal government for new innovative ideas. I'm talking about cutting edge research like quantum mechanics, nanotechnology, and theoretical physics. That's really what we need to do. So for the average Canadian, how can they access this money? How can they dream big? What I envision is a cross Canada network of innovation centers. We expand via federal bureaucracy this network across Canada so that if anyone has a great big idea, something new, something exciting, something that will create jobs, they'll get the support from the federal government. The federal government will become an angel investor in all these great ideas. We're also going to be looking to our youth for leadership. How do we do that? We create a tech jobs program so that students on their weekends and in their summer months can find new ideas and find money to implement those ideas. I have a dream about Canada. And let me tell you a bit about that. Imagine a Canada which is fueled by research and technology, which allows us to increase our fuel security by finding new ways to implement agricultural programs across our country. Imagine a Canada that is so innovative that we can look at problems in our healthcare system and find new solutions. And the most important thing is that innovation via research and technology can help our environment. I told you about the Cross Canada Network of Innovation Centers. I'm proposing something else. A Cross Canada Network of Sustainability Offices. We need to educate Canadians about the environment, why it's important, and how they can make a difference. And I really think that this focus on sustainable initiatives via an investment in research and technology is a winner. I think the future, the 21st century, the challenges are very different than the challenges of the 20th century. What does that mean? It means that moving forward, we need to be a knowledge economy. We need to be an intelligent economy. Canada needs to decide right now if they're going to be a leader in this idea or if they're going to stand behind. So what I'm talking about, new investments across Canada in research and technology is important. That's what the government can do. We also want to make it easy for business to do the same thing. So we're going to change the tax structure so that when, when businesses put money into research and development, they will get a big tax break. That will spurn innovation in the healthcare system, in agriculture, in the environment. I think that will work. Why do I think that will work? Because every single day that I'm here in Waterloo, I see what that innovation is doing, I see what that research is doing, and I see what that development is doing. We have our engineering school here at the University of Waterloo. It has an amazing solar car program. We need to have the federal government being an angel investor in great programs like that. Again, my name is Kevin Royal. I'm 23 years old and I'm the president of the student union here at the University of Waterloo. I think it's time for Canada to dream big. Now who's with me?